Welcome back again. In the last episode we discussed creating the lesson framework, today we will be discussing syllabus writing. A syllabus in the UK or curriculum as it is known in the US is an outline or statement of a course or the lectures and lessons that will be given during an organized class. Many syllabuses will explain why a certain lesson is being taught or what is being taught daily. In many teacher editions of course books, there will be a section that will give hints as to how a class should be taught, what part of grammar is being taught and the methodology being used. A sample syllabus in a teacher's edition may look something like this. What are you doing? This is an example of the present continuous. It will help students ask questions to other people and answer appropriately. The teacher should use motions and ask students questions about what they are going to do over the weekend. A more detailed one may look something like this. Monday, I will present several sentences with the use of the PC. The students will understand. The grammar point and will practice speaking it. Pages 32 to 34 course book. Tuesday, the students will do several grammar exercises on the PC to ensure they understand the lesson. Pages 39 to 42 grammar book. Wednesday, the students will listen to conversations of people talking to each other in the PC tone. Pages 34 to 36 course book, tape accessory. Thursday, the students will write several examples of the PC to show they understand. Pages 36 to 42. Course book, pages 65 to 67 vocabulary book. Friday, the students will have a review test to ensure they understand the PC. If you have to write your own syllabus you must remember a few points. What is the class? Each class you teach is different. A math class may take as much preparation as an art class. While a history class may only take a short time if you plan to use a book for reading. However, each class takes a certain amount of time of preparation. A writing class would take more planning than a grammar class. The teacher will explain the lesson in class and give handouts to the students with examples in order for the students to understand the lesson. A grammar class the teacher will explain grammar points and then give a handout to the students for them to practice what they were taught in class. What age group are the students? Each group of students is different. You may find teaching five-year-olds more challenging than an adult class. Five-year-olds have a five to ten minute attention span. You may have to plan several different lesson plans for one class, while you may only need one or two lesson plans for an adult class. Bring as much material to class as possible. You cannot bring too much material to a class. The reason is you do not want to be stuck with a class where you have to play games because you have nothing for them to do. The more handouts you can give the students the better the students will be. Sometimes students or classes will finish lessons faster than others. Having extra work ensures that they will have something to do when they finish. How long is the course? If you have a long class, 3 to 10 months, you may need to stretch things out, if you don't have a series of books or a small book to teach from. A class review more often to help students remember and get better grades. As I listed a syllabus above that is more detailed some teachers don't write anything, or if they do only a few sentences. A teacher's syllabus may read something like this. Day 1 present continuous page 43, exercises 12 through 14, handout pages 145 to 146 essential. Grammar. Day 2 past continuous page 44 to 45, exercises 15 to 17, handout pages 139 to 142, essential grammar. Day 3 future tenses page 46, exercises 18 to 21, handout pages 100 to 105, essential grammar. Day 4 review lessons, handouts pages 106 to 110, essential grammar in use. Day 5 test. This week we shall learn the continuous tenses and how to use them. The students will be able to ask questions, answer the questions and then be able to write them as quickly as they speak. The syllabus also gives the lesson sequences by either daily or weekly plans. This way the teacher is more prepared before they enter into a classroom. The lesson is prepared and ready to be taught without worries. The syllabus should have new lessons and repetitive lessons in order for the students to have the ability to review past lessons. 
The more the student reviews a lesson or grammar point, they are more apt to remember it. That is all we have for today. Thank you for coming and I hope to see you next time. I'm Megan and I'm glad to have met you.